a blunder, perhaps another green, but it's what it's got to be. But Patchy oh. has these in short supply already. Super forward. Here's the combo. That could be the win. He's dodging all these shots so effectively, and he crosses the entire field for the touchdown. All right, so in today's video, we got the March monthly finals versus the ST men. And I'm just saying, there's a Mortis and there's a Primo making some insane plays. It is for thousands of dollars. So what else can I say? But just stay tuned. But yeah, thank you all for 48,000 subscribers in advance. I'm pretty close right now. So hopefully we'll get it soon. But yeah, 50K soon. Let's just jump in the games and see how it So we started off first set, good old shooting star. Um, we had second pick, so we banned kind of the best brawlers on the map, Tick and Nani. And then uh, you could probably ban Genie, you could probably ban Piper. It's kind of preference, but we didn't really want to face a Piper, so we just banned it. And then we kind of decided, okay, if they go Gene 1, then we just go to, like any range. So we went like Bell. And then after that, I think we went Eve. Yeah, we went Eve. So that was kind of the basis of our draft. And then, so then they go ahead and pick Mandy Sprout. And then last pick, we went with the Mortis. I mean, it was Chino's idea. Full credit to him. I wasn't really rocking with it, but we'll see how it goes. But yeah, I mean, pretty good comps. I think we definitely have a comp if we play it right. But uh, yeah, I'll so yeah, we're going to be on red just because that's just how the stream is. They uh, they always got to put SC on the blue, us on the red. Um, we start off getting the blue star, you know, I'm taking the water lane because why would you play you did not go on the water lane And then they got Zara in the middle. I got Bobby on my lane. It's just CR chilling in the mid and then uh, OG Mandy on the right. So he just plays aggressive. He kind of misses his auto in there But I mean it was a good trade at the end of the day and he got what I like, think three hits to bats two hits something like that. So he's Basically almost there. All he needs is like one more dash in and he'll get it and uh, it's kind of just a matter of time. I don't know. He probably could have just not gone in at the at all this game, and we maybe could have saved it. But it's always good to just even if you lose the lead, it's always good. He kind of misses that pull there, and then Sierra goes in, gets the bats. He doesn't waste it. He probably could have and got the kill. So yeah, we're kind of resetting here. I'm trying to switch over, and then Sierra kind of switches over to the middle, and we're just playing lanes. Manny does have super, but I think he's kind of waiting because he can't really one shot any of us unless we take a bunch of damage. And then CR just kind of baits it. I don't really know what he was aiming at there. Um, someone someone help him out. But I mean, a wasted Mandy super was pretty good. So then I get the pets. And then now it's the time to push in. We got 30 seconds left. We got the supers charged. So I got the pets down. Look at them. They're wasting all their shots. So now we got full position. CR decides to go in. Got the red mortis left. Gets the double bats. Gets the double bats again. And then uh, I kind of waste my jump, and then I get pulled. It's not really the best, but I mean, we still have the lead. There's only 10 seconds left. There's traps down. There's bell bounces. So nothing really they can do. Get the kill on Bobby, and then I just suicide. I don't think I even die here, but that's going to be game one. Let's talk about game two. Okay, so game two, same thing. Get the blue star. Charles does get slowed there, but I think he lives. Yeah, OG doesn't get the range on him. And then so your kind of body blocks, but doesn't really block anything. And uh, we got the same start. Um, Chino's obviously looking to play aggressive. Um, Charles sending up a lot of shots here, actually. I think he's probably pretty close to his mark at this point. Um, but I mean, I'm just, I try to pinch him here because they're, well, not really pinch him, just shoot him. Because they're kind of just pressed behind the wall, but not really a good idea. So I just leave. And they're kind of playing more together here. So it's a little bit harder for CR to kind of push in and get his bats. So he plays a, he plays a bit more passive this game. Tries to go in, but doesn't really go in. Then Bobby gets his pull. I try and push him back a little bit. I mean, he's obviously not gonna pull me because I got a jump and I got zero ping. So unless I'm terrible at the game, I should be able to block the pull. And then I get the pets down. It's kind of at the perfect time too, because we're getting pushed back. So then they go down. They gotta waste a bunch of ammo. We get some pressure back. OG still got his Mandy super two. And uh, Charles has got the bell mark. So we're kind of just a stalemate here. I think they're waiting for like a pull or chaining sprout wall or something like that. He does hit Charles, but then I guess he assumed Charles would go right. So then he ends up aiming for me. And obviously I got to jump, so I'm not going to hit by that. And then Bobby gets like triple tapped by a bell mark shot and Eve clip. So then he's low, he dies. And then CR goes in, Zar walls himself in. That's just a kill. So we're up five to zero. Surprisingly, we haven't died with this comp, which is kind of wild. And we got two traps down. Um, I got the pets again. And at this point, it's pretty hard to lose this game unless we both get tapped up here, but Charles got traps down, got the pets. Uh, he hits the trap, CR just goes in, melts OG. And I don't even think he dies here. Zara gets like clobbered by some Eve pets and 
That's a 9-0 dub, so that's the first set. I don't even know where OG's Manny Super was going there either. But that's gonna be the dub, and let's hop into set well, Double two. swoosh. Uh, we had the first pick this time. So they banned Gene, Crow, and what is it, Amber? Because, I mean, we really like playing Amber here, especially. I think I had, like, some stupid 90% win rate on Amber, so worth the ban. We were kind of debating between Penny and Max, but we liked Max a bit more, so we just said, screw it, we'll pick Max. And we kind of assumed they would pick Penny, so maybe we'd get, like, Sandy to go in the Penny, or maybe M's, not really. Maybe, like, Lola right, and then Sandy kind of left. That was our plan mostly going into it. And they go Jen into it. I don't really think that was the best pick. I mean, it was decent, but I think it probably could have been better. And here they kind of go with a wild pick. They go the M's. I thought that was pretty early. Not really that good of a pick. Definitely should have somewhere they should have pennied here. And then we probably should have pennied here as well. But we decided to go uh, Sandy and Lola. Because our thought process was kind of like Sandy goes left. Lola's the best right option right now. And uh, they probably could have gone Ash or something aggressive, but it's a monthly final, so you don't really want to risk too much. So they go, I think, a safe penny here. And yeah, I think we got pretty even comps. We probably have comp again at this point. But yeah, let's just hop into the game and see how it First works. game, they go Janet mid, and then I'm on Sans's lane because Sans loves the easy side. Penny probably could have easily been mid. I think all three of them could have played mid. I think Penny obviously is the best mid, but I mean, it's Sans, so he's not going to play in mid. It's just, it's just not his character, given the easy side. Um, and I kind of get some good clips on him this game with the vision gear, obviously. And then I kill him here, run away from Zara. I think I live on like one shot. Yeah, I go for the clip, miss it. And then uh, I just back up. CR gets a nice stun on Bobby. So meanwhile, I beat my lane, CR beat his lane. So we kind of just got all the gems for free. We're up like 5-0, we got speed. And then he gets another stun, we get the kill on Zara. Gets the Sandy super, so now we got eight gems to zero. It's only been like 40 seconds, so the game's like already over within 40 seconds, which was kind of wild. CR does waste his stun, but he gets him pretty low, so that's not bad. And then we got nine gems. And then we get this gem spawn, but Bobby plays super aggro, so he dies. And then I think Charles maybe could have gotten that if he played it a little bit risky, but it's I don't think it was worth it at the time, so oh well. And then you kind of waste a gadget there too to get the speed. Not the worst, and then CR just gonna suicide for his Sandy Super, so he got it there, got Bobby to one. But yeah, they got really good control now, they got the Mortar, they got a Janet to a Janet Fly, M's on the spawn, and the M's was mainly the issue, I think. And then I think a little too high of a Sandy Super there, got us uh, pretty trapped and basically a wasted Sandy Super. Not not too bad, because all we need is another max speed and we can still push in, but uh, quite unfortunate Sandy Super there. And then Bobby goes in, he gets he gets this killed, but wasn't really that big, honestly, because we kind of just needed to respawn anyway. We get the speed now. I think he's he's really close. It's just, yeah, he's, he's playing like he has it, he has it. And CR runs in, I run at the mortar. Zar kind of flies here, which uh, actually I think helped us out a ton. I don't really feel like Janet flies do too much, especially in that situation, because all it is is just a Janet in the air, and it basically is just a 2v3 at that point. So then we get the 11th gem. I'm not sure if they could have reset here. It spawns on eight. I think they would have had to perfectly get it, which uh, would have been risky for them. But I mean, they it probably would have worked better. And then Sierra lives on six HP, but it doesn't even matter. So yeah, they probably could have gotten the reset there. Unfortunately, they don't. And then the shot of the new game too. All right, so I, uh, I failed for the sand trap. I shot the middle like three times and then he just went left and barreled 5K'd me. So unfortunately, I died. Sierra does miss a stun there. Doesn't kill Zar, unfortunately. So yeah, we are uh, not really doing too hot. I lost my lane. Um, so they got all the gems. Sierra does play a bit too aggressive. Picks up a gem there. So now the gems are kind of split, which isn't the best. But we're doing okay. We can still win. They also, by the way, switched M's to mid, which I guess worked better for them. I don't really know. I do get the trade on Sands there. Um, CR's pushing in, they get the Janet turret, they get the speed, I think he gets the super here, he stuns him, oh he's one, and then he does get him, he misses the uh, shot as I get melted on the left. So it's what, 3-5, it's pretty even, they're about to get their 6, we got the Sandy super here. I think again that was way too high there unfortunately. I think I guess he assumed he could probably push into it, but there's just a Janet turret there, so that's just a another fully wasted Sandy super unfortunately. But I mean, it's not it's not too big of a deal. We, we're, we're tying up the game if Charles picks that up, but I guess he's playing passive, yeah. And there's a split gem. 
and so yeah i went from like six to six now it's nine to four to two v three with speed nothing really we can do here but he gets a stun i think oh he almost got some but he misses that shot and then at this point i think we kind of play desperate yeah we push up but it's it's basically too late i think we get like a couple resets we have the game essentially over at this point so let's just hop into game three game two definitely could have been played better for me especially and all of us in general probably could have played better. I do fall for the same barrel, but this time uh, I get him decently low and then Charles clips him. So we get the trade off. So now it's only three, th three zero. And then CR pushes in, gets a nice stun. Can't really do anything with the knockback. So he just dies there. And then Charles, nice gadget there, saves himself. And then obviously I'm kind of on the wrong lane. So I switch over. But uh, yeah, they got M's mid still. No one's on the right side though. So Sierra kind of just gets free position here. Just runs at Bobby. Bobby doesn't even know he's there. He gets the stun. Another high Sandy super, but that I think was pretty good because it keeps him from healing and we actually could push into it this time. So that works. And then uh, Janet turret basically goes down by the time we respawn. And yeah, so the tied game, we got speed. We're pushing in. Sierra does get some taps. Gets basically half his Sandy super back. Zar in the air. Janet in the air does absolutely nothing. I think he just just stood in the air for six seconds so it's nice he basically just died for six seconds which is just, sometimes the nice part about it janet and then nice peeks from cr here he gets the stun they get the pinch to kill they get the aggro sandy super keeps him low now there they actually could push into it and then when it's nine three charles stays up bobby goes super aggressive here he, he drops some gems charles dips out that was a good play by him i think i called it out too just to get the gems because no way a penny can kill you, especially if you have a gadget. And then I just kind of run it down. You don't want to leave your gem carry just with all the gems. You always got to respawn immune. You see, I respawn here in case Charles died. I would just be able to pick up the gems. But uh, Sans doesn't really get the kill at the end. And Charles, I don't even know. I think he juked like 80 shots there. But now we got out in the open knockout. Uh, they have first pick. So they did the same bands they did on shooting. Uh, just a bunch of aggro brawlers because I like the Bonnie. See, I like the Carl and we all just play Max. And then they first picked Tick, which was kind of what we expected, but not really. And then we were just kind of happy because we got Nani and then RT. And we really liked playing both those brawlers. Charles get on the Nani. And then I've played a lot of RT recently. So it was a perfect 2-3 for us, honestly. And then we had the option of kind of playing aggro with last pick still with like Fang or anything kind of aggressive, maybe like Janet. Um, and then they go Piper into the Nani RT, which is kind of wild. But I think they were getting a little bit desperate here. They were down 2-0. They didn't really know when to go into Nani RT. So they just said, screw it, we go Piper. But then they go Lola. I don't, I didn't really uh, like the Lola pick, but I don't really know what else you go there. Cause Piper tick, you kind of get a, I don't got enough HP. So I guess the Lola gives you a lot of HP. And then we kind of just decided we wanted to sprout because usually throw every throw kind of just cancels out each other. And then we just said, okay, we have a Nani and an RT into a Piper and a Lola. I think they should be able to should be able to kind of beat the other two. So we just picked the Sprout and hopefully did the rest so let's just hop I in. also played a speed shield which you know it's a tip if if you're rt and you're facing a piper you should definitely play shield gear especially if there's a bunch of grass because then you don't get too tapped by a uh, ambush and then so the lanes were kind of messed up here and then we finally switch we get the piper on the or the naughty on the piper he does waste a gadget there but it's, it's all good at the end of the day um chino's kind of just tying his lane i get a nice tap on bobby there just kind of playing it slow, getting our supers here. Uh, Sierra's pushing them back, so I kind of push up too. We get into more of a side-to-side -side game, which I don't think was really the best idea because I think Tick kind of easily wins that side-to-side -side game. So for next time, definitely not doing that. And also, I don't have the new gadget, so I can't really like two-tap anyone. I just got to hit a bunch of shots, and my gadget is absolutely useless. So I basically just don't have a gadget. And then CR gets, I think, pinched by Tick and Piper there. I go down. So you're not really a smart idea of going uh, side to side. I think we learned our lesson after that. And then, so Bobby breaks his, Charles breaks his wall. And then I think we definitely should have put the Sprout on the left. I think we do after this game. But uh, yeah, Nani on the right for now, I'm kind of just chilling in the mid because if I can just pinch everyone, mark everyone, it, it'll always end up better. Uh, Bobby kind of wasted curve there. I pushed up because they're decently low. But then I got to get clipped. Uh, see here with the wall doesn't really do too much though kind of push back here into the tick which is not a very good spot but then i kind of wiggle a little bit i get a shot on bobby almost get him with another one and then sierra gets the wall that's a good wall there um piper's kind of trying to get me here he uses the ambush but there that's why i got the shield gear and then uh nice taps on the 
tick head there but then charles pops his nani head and i think it like kind of when he popped it he moved a little bit out the wall so then he kind of got clipped by og and died but I pro we probably weren't winning that round anyway so uh, yeah we definitely could have played better there not really good positioning so let's hop into game two. in the game too i stay mid here and then we just kind of get cr to push up left because i mean it didn't work last time when we put the nani left or we kind of just tried to play like behind that wall so we just said screw we'll play a little bit more aggressive it'll it'll either backfire or work out but so far it's been working out i hit a bunch of shots on og there he's decently low um do kind of get super aggro here though but thankfully charles trades me out hits like a 4k with the mark so it's a it's definitely now a winning 2v3 but czar does have ticket so it's a little bit scary and then charles has his naughty head but he can't really pop it because then sierra would just die or he would just die and then the Tickhead goes down. He pops a gadget. I don't really know what that was for. But a uh, Tickhead goes down. Safe gadget from Charles there. Doesn't get hit, but better be safe than sorry. And then CR gets a nice wall there. They get the pinch on Bobby. Charles stays alive here, but then dies with Tick Mine. And then now it's just a 1v1 for the sentry. It's Tick v Sprout. But, uh, you know, CR got the ice. So he hits one, two, and then the third. That's some insane stuff right there. But we get the, we get the round win. Charles gets the Nani break. And then we're playing Sprout left, Nani right, and they somehow still ran into the, like, Nani with Piper. I don't really know why. But, uh, yeah, it worked out for us because we like these lanes. I get the nice taps on OG, goes down, so now it's a 2v3. Good wall to block. Probably still could have killed it, but it's it's a multi-final, you know? You got to be safe about everything. And we still make sure not to, not to throw because if we die in this position, it's not really that good in a 2v3 scenario. Um, I think I tell him to kind of rotate right a little bit because we don't really want to stay in like a triple choke point here. And then Zar doesn't really use his tick head there. He gets tapped up. I think he's probably uses it soon. Bobby get, uses a curve, goes down though. Tick head's down, just easy gadget though. And then CR gets the nice two tap on Zar. And then Nani in there crashes in. And that's the game. So now it's match point. Let's hop into game three. Match point where uh, if we win two rounds, we get the sweep. And if we lose, we uh, could easily get reverse swept. Like I seen last time on out in the open at Worlds. I honestly didn't even think of it at the time, but apparently everyone was like, oh, it's it's the map they reverse swept on last time. So maybe they got a shot. I, I honestly did not think of it that far. That was not crossing my mind, but maybe that was a good thing um but we got really good position here i get the super i finally get some rt value get the kill i know i have a super now not just a star power and a shot because i don't have a gadget but uh i just run it straight at czar i get the kill bobby jumps in but that's just an easy kill for charles he's marked so he goes down we got the nani wall break again i think the cash is only rocking with the nani wall break but i feel like it definitely definitely helps out the wall break on this map's clutch also other regions don't really do it which uh, doesn't really make sense to me, honestly. I don't, I don't see why you wouldn't just get a second choke point. I guess third. But yeah, really, really a second one. It's, it's really good. And we get super good position here. Hit a bunch of shots. Tickhead goes down, and this tickhead was terrible. I think Charles missed a shot. I missed like two shots, so I just got it back all the way up from that perfect position in their spawn. And now we're backed up in there in our spawn, which is not really good. And then Sierra's kind of caught on the wrong side, so I tell him to rotate. But he goes kind of the wrong way, and then he has to just go around, gets hit by a bunch of stuff. And then Nani goes down, you think he hits Bobby. See so with the perfect, if he doesn't three tap that ticket, we do not win the round. So good stuff by him there. Not many people, I think, could say that they would three tap that ticket, which is, which is kind of wild. But yeah, I hit it. Nice two tap on Czar. Honestly, I have no clue what happens this round. He stays up. Charles with a return to center. Czar, low HP, barely surviving. Patchy trying to deal with the enemy team. It's a back and forth affairs. Bobby, the only one left, dies to the fire. He dies, and then Bobby dies in the smoke. And that's the sweep. We get the dub on now in the open. So yeah, now we made the finals, and let's hop into the final set of the finals. Set three, because I don't really want to show all the sets. Otherwise, we'd be just here for like an hour. And Sneaky Fields, they banned Ash, Squeak, and Surge. We banned just kind of all the mids, B, Lou, and then Max. We were debating between Crow and Max, but thought Max was a little better. And then they kind of spike one, which really threw us off. But then we decide on Penny. I think it kind of glitched here. We go we go Penny Rico. They decide to Poco. So they basically got a really, really good comp for basically free. Because we kind of just, we kind of gave them what we should have gone. So unfortunately, we are stuck with Rico, Penny, to Poco, Rosa, Spike. And then that's... 
And then, so I kind of just last pick YOLO, the Primo. You're thinking between Buzz and Primo, but Primo just kind of has the wall break and has the speed and it can make more plays. So, I mean, at the end of the day, if we just outskill him, we could probably win. It's going to be a pretty hard game to win. But uh, yeah, we got it. So we just, let's just jump in. So I kind of just run it all the way down, which was not the smartest idea. I get absolutely no hits. I get like half to my super though. So it's not... Not the worst thing in the world. CR shoots a Rico gadget. I don't really know what was going on with Chepo here, but he doesn't really shoot the ball and then he dies. Or well, I, I leave him to die. And then I jump on counter, get the kill there. And then we go up. And then I think Shine spawns on the right. So I see him and I just dip. I jump, I get the pass, I break it and I score. So that's just defense turned into offense. Or, you know, you make mistakes. You got to capitalize on the mistakes, especially if you don't have the better comp. So we capitalize on their misplay. We get the easy goal. But then they show why their comp is so good. They just absolutely steamroll us. I get melted by the spike. Pogo gets like two heals. Rose is slow, super, all that. So we get scored on like 20 seconds. Then I call for the switch. I take the Rosa now. And then uh, it's not really too easy for me. And then I kind of just jump in. I just hope the Pogo... I'm trying to like get the Pogo away from the Rosa. So Because if the Pogo gives the Rosa the heal, then it's screwed for me. But uh, I don't... Shine, I think, probably could have walked in and he doesn't. Gets the Rico super out. So then it's just me and Charles. And I kind of just jump on Shine. I get the kill. And that's all we need. I kind of just die because no point in living on like 42 HP. And then we get the corner. CRA is out of Rico gadgets. But it's not too bad because we're kind of in like a stalemate point in the game. Where we're just kind of chilling. And then he does get clipped. He goes down. I get the jump on counter though. I go for a stupid jump on Chepo. But he kind of jukes it. So it stopped the goal anyway I feel like for the most part. And then CR gets absolutely ganked by Chepo. That's a two tap. And then I think he honestly doesn't. Yeah, he doesn't kill the mortar there, which was kind of funny. And then I go down charging my super and he still misses the mortar. So the mortar is just chilling. But then there's a new mortar and then the Rico super. So then I'm alone 1v3 again. I kind of they're trying to bait my throw. So I never even throw. I jump. I chuck it away. I jump on shine again, get the kill. I did waste my super, but I feel like that was probably worth it at the time. Because I mean, I'm my primo. I got my super back. And uh, still got a gadget. I don't know how many gadgets I have left. I think one or two. So we still got something to spare. And then we got decent control. They're kind of just playing it slow for overtime. I bring the ball up because why not? We got we got to score, you know. But then Charles decides to bring it back in the corner, which is probably a smart idea because Chino does go down. So then it's just me. And then I kind of finesse Shine here. I get the jump off. And then I juke a Poco shot there. He just misses. I don't know. But I live. So I bring the ball up. Counter gets clipped. I think he goes down. We got the penny mortar and then i just go all the way down i think i could score but shine was like one tile off me throwing him and then i jump the ball goes in the net but it doesn't go in so then that is that was a choke goal by us unfortunately well by me but i mean we still got the we still got it holding down they don't really have a poco here right now charles in a bunch of shots with the mortar and then uh counter kind of gets trapped by a penny shot and then he runs it down too far so he goes down Chino gets some clips, he beams Chepo, and then I get the jump, I jump on Shine, knock him away, use the speed, that's why I use speed right there, with the bomb, get the goal, and that's match point for us. Match point. Um, and this time I kind of played a little bit slower, still run it down, obviously, try and get my super in there, I got it. And then Charles misses the corner, gives the ball to Shine, but then I kind of pass it up, I also give the ball to Shine, I probably could have cornered it. But then we get the knockback, or he doesn't get the knockback, but I don't even know what happened, they didn't score it. And then I run up, I throw counter with the ball. I, the ball's like juggling in the net. I get it, I jump on Shine, and then I just go straight for Chepo. That's why That's why you got the speed. I got the speed, I jump on him again, get the kill. And that's just a free kill for my teammates on counter because he's just immune. We got the full control, we bring the ball up. Um, Shine slows, and I kind of just go for Chepo here because I don't really need to go for Shine. And I actually just screw it, go for counter because Chepo dies and then Shine gets beamed. Easy kill on counter, get all the supers. We wait because you know gotta saw the clock, and then put the ball in the net. I gotta show off some of those pins too, but the wind's probably coming in quite soon as dog walkers look to be on a warpath. Bit of a predictive super in though, and Patch is gonna pay the price. Shine gets a takedown, a pass up to him is an easy win. Here it comes, a walk through, no, oh. a defense, a blunder, perhaps another green, but it's what it's gotta be. But Patch, oh. has these in short supply already. Super forward, here's the combo that could be the win. He's dodging all these shots so effectively, and he crosses the entire field for the touchdown. Dog walkers are your March monthly finals champions in NA West. All right, so that's it. Hopefully more monthly final wins to come. But yeah, thanks for watching.
you should like subscribe if you haven't already but uh, yeah if you made it all the way through 25 minutes and you haven't already subscribed what are you doing come on drop a sub but yeah that's gonna be it peace